folks, welcome back to Evergreen Valley, and it has been a hot minute since we've seen each other. I've been busy, been cracking on, see my gone up a little bit, so at the end of last episode we were doing some weeding contracts. I was a bit in and on me, whether or not it's going to be worth it, but overall it seemed to be worth it. Overall, how was it, about two grand or so we earned from that contract? And also, I did some harvesting contracts. I did a some to cut my notes, soybean, and a corn contract. Overall, that was eleven grand from the crops themselves. In uh, terms with the contract itself, it was about ten thousand or so dollars in profit from the contract itself. They like, are forty percent cut. Obviously, the money doesn't quite match. That's because we've gone and. Of course, borrowed equipment. We borrowed the Steiger here. We borrowed a cultivator. We borrowed a plow. And so, yeah, look at what we've borrowed. Obviously, we're still paying for the truck and trailer. I've also gone and borrowed these two. We'll speak about that later on because I've been tipped the wink, so to speak, on some decent profits we can have coming in. But we need to go on a bit of a journey today. Just yet. Yeah, that's going to be the theme today. It's going to be exploring the woodlands because I've heard some opportunities for us. For one, at, in terms with. Obviously, as we see around, there's a lot of trees. That is by design, especially up north, hide the mines and that. Like from here, all you can see from the mines is a crane. Nothing more than that. However, over the years, with their mining act, some trees have basically been eroded and rot well, not eroded, rotten away. So what we've been asked to do is clear some logs for them, so I said yes. Obviously, in terms of the clearance, only profit we're getting is from the logs themselves. So, as far as I can gather, there are some deadfall trees along the beaten tracks. And there was obviously some rotten trees that are still up around these mine sites, so we'll have a look at those. But yeah, first of all, I think we're going to be done with the cultivator for now. So what I'm going to do is park this here. In fact, we should rewash it, but oh well. So yeah, we'll go and return that. We'll keep the plan contract because I'm going to do this contract here. So, so yeah, overall, not too bad. Ah, yeah, I need to take her cut from that. Sex, bear with me. There we go. So, yeah, 24 and a half grand transferred over. That was rounded up. So, that is $16,000 we've got there for this contract. So, was it worth it for the tractor and that? I'll say yes, just about. However, we've got a contract to do on field 16. So yeah, that is a field that is full of corn. Wait, I was like, surprised it popped that one. Looked on my PDA net. And yeah, it's a full field of healthy corn in that. It hasn't withered yet, I don't think. But apparently the farm, well, the field, to be exact, has just been either abandoned by the owner or has been sold and whoever owns Field 60 now which is a Mr. Leroy Wilson just wants the crops removed so either because he got other plans or they've got no equipment available for at the moment and with winter hitting very soon we're going to have snow within the next month or two there's no snow forecast for today but if we look at the weather at the moment, it's a crisp 36 degrees, for, yeah, 34 degrees at the moment. And it's going to be like this throughout the winter, so... Yeah, we need to get this contract completed, so... $4,700. And our cut from that is going to be... Oh no, it has withered. On correction. So yeah, the profit's going to be $1,908. That's after we transfer... 2,800 bucks over, so again for a quick contract now. Not too bad, like I was worried about the tractor now. But it says about, was it like a 300 horsepower apartment? So we got like 
What was it? 240 or 270, I think, in this? Have a quick look. So, yeah, 224. And 320. We're 100 horsepower short. Working speed, 70 kilometers per hour. So, yeah. We're roughly hitting that. So, overall, not doing too bad. But, yeah, do need to make sure we get everything done. So, yeah. Just bear me a sec while well, so I get these contract, this contract done. And then we'll head back to the dealership. Because, yeah, I want to explore those mines because. And those wizards because, yeah. For what I've been rumored, for what I've heard in the local and that. You know, the hush whispers and that with the locals. There are some pots of gold. And your feet moves in Ireland. <laughs> Not in the USA, but. Yeah, apparently there's pots of gold to be discovered, so I'm off for a treasure hunt for a little bit of the Tetrist action, so yeah. Now quick get done. I think it'll take us a few minutes and then yeah. We'll head to the woodlands. So yeah, that did not take long at all. The towel has been returned just in time before we hit the one hour mark. Because yeah, that was on 0.9 hours and I'm not sure when I was hitting that one hour mark, so that's returned. I think for now we'll keep the case styler here and that's the thing like, yeah, we can keep on these and keep on returning that, but it's just a possibility. In a way we're saving money, but also in other ways we're wasting money. Because we're going to keep on using this particular tractor. And if I was thinking about using this long term, I would have thought about getting the 270 horsepower engine because with the main contracts and that. We're going to need the mower and that. And that on its own. Ooh. Going to need something around 220, 230 horsepower minimum on flatland to work out optimal speeds, but. Honestly, I don't know what we're going to do. I think for now, we'll keep this. Yeah, we'll keep this because we need something to get around. Yes, we've got the lorry still, so again, that's an option as well. But yeah, for now, I'm just going to park this up here. Not curb the wheels and that. So yeah, have a look at our PDA here a sec. So yeah, I've got all this wooden up here. And yeah, so we need to head down here, across the ridge, and then yeah, round this on some deadfall trees, and apparently somewhere along the path there's at least one pot of gold. Also, I've been heard there's another pot of gold somewhere on the outside or sort of on the verge of the property with the mine. The problem is, since these are owned by the authority, we need to. Obviously, we're gonna, we got permission and that to explore the land. So, what's not to say that if we accidentally find a pot of gold, who is not to say that finders keepers or? But now, nah, won't be finders keepers. I'll, I'll be responsible. I will. Actually, could do with some diesel to take with us, just in case. But yeah, what I was thinking of. We can report this back to the authority, and it may go in our favour. Try to see if there's... Where's that diesel pallet to? So yeah, we have some diesel we could buy. Not sure where that is. Nope, can't find it. Actually, one thing we can do with is... Purchasing a... Saw now, so... We can chop trees down if we need to. 
obviously at the moment we're just going up to do some preliminary exploration. Because yeah, until I actually know exactly what the task is required. Because yeah, we may need to borrow a forestry in that, or tree forester in that, it's harvester. We may need to borrow a tree forder, a forestry forder, which is basically a crane in that. Or can we get away with just, I don't know, a winch in that on a tractor maybe? Or if they're easily cuttable. Cut them down to small chunks, and let's say get loaded onto the back of this and onto a trailer, maybe. Oh, yeah. That is one thing you need to be careful of. So, yeah, this is a six wheels. I think it's, I think as far as I'm aware, it's four wheel drive at the back or something like that. Yeah, because I doubt this is all six wheel drive. I don't know, I was trying to look at see if there's any drive shafts in that or differentials onto the rear wheels, but yeah, it's either a four wheel drive or a six wheel drive. And yeah, pretty nippy in that. 90 kilometers an hour almost. Where will we find the gold? Obviously, it'll go to the authority initially. However, we may get a fee where it's a 50% cut. 25% cut, 10% cut, 5% cut, 1% cut. <coughs> At the end of the day, it really depends on what we find in that. So, for example, a bit of deadfall here. So you actually need to be on the authorities account for this. Actually, no, no we don't. But yeah, can't cut this down for whatever reason. So for now, that is light enough to carry, so I think for now we'll literally just whack this on, put some straps down. Yeah, in fairness, would it be good to have a trailer of sorts? Actually, can I cut it down when it's... Nope. Can't cut it down. But yeah, so things like that, like dead fall that, it is free game for us. <coughs> Obviously, I'm not going to go around collecting every tree in that. Ooh, another piece of log. That is too heavy, we can't collect that. But yeah, that's going to be the gist of things, so I'm going to head up north. Ah, uh, yeah, any trees we find. And also, I want to just explore the landscape as well. Because, yeah, I think in <coughs> down the road, if we do a bit of like, forestry adventures and that, like, how much. Actually, how much is the land? Like, this forestry area here? Half a mil, a mil. Uh, for small ones, we're looking at. 300 grand, 450, so... Off. I was like, yeah, initially, I was thinking about saving up that for farmland. Obviously, we need to get our citizenship first and that, but... In general... Find a way of a means of purchasing that for ourselves. Because, yeah, I know the application process is, what, 9 months or so? However, also know that, if you know the right people, you can expedite the process in that, in terms of dealing with immigration that, but I and they will prove our worth in that, so I'll just keep on trundling around until we find something in that, or yeah, just something in general. But yeah, man, what a beautiful landscape this is. So, right, I've noticed two things. One is this. What's this? Ore or rocks? I think this is stone, actually, yeah. Stone. But yeah, why is it like that? Do they want us to clear this up? I do not know. Nothing's been said about mining related or clearing dirt, clearing anything. 
But yeah, also I noticed there is a barn here, so yeah, I have to go along. I'm just still collecting some wood and that. Definitely should have bought a trailer with us. But yeah, I'm thinking, have a look in here. What's this old barn? So yeah, turn the engine off. Have a little look. Oof. Careful. Yeah, have a little look around. Man, this has just been abandoned and where it's part of the old mine setup, I don't know. Once upon a time this was a, like a complete wasteland area. Also with some logs here that could be cleared out. Actually, yeah, I should have checked the roofing first before coming in. Roof doesn't look great, but the beams themselves, the frames look good in that. I do have experience in timber frame pressing, so... Yeah, at least on the outside it doesn't look rotten. Nope. Yeah, it's actually... Ooh. Wait a minute. What is those? So... Is this the gold? I think this is, so... How much is that? Okay, 25 grand that was. There are 60 barrels with gold coins spread across the map. Take advantage and find them all. So, alright. We need to report this to the authority. Send them the 25 grand. There we go, so that's what we found. Is there any more around? So yeah, I guess we're looking for gold barrels, so... Yeah, I'm guessing now we've reported to the authority and that. They get back to us and... Yeah, typically it's around a 50% cut. Yeah, at the moment we're just here as... On the basically a visa, a... Technically a tourist visa and that, but with a green card almost. Oh no, sorry, we need to get a green card and that, perhaps, to get our citizenship. But yeah, so... That's all the bit. Got some more... Some more stones here, like... What in the heck happened here? Like... Why is there... <laughs> it looks like someone's... I'll say someone's tipped a tray or that, but... It's sort of spread out random, so... I'll say random, it was all the way up here along the embankment, so... But yeah, actually, good thing we're here, actually, uh, by the coal mine. Yeah, it's these trees here they want us, so not this one here. There's still a bit of life in it. But yeah, it's like these ones here, where you can see it's all withered away. Just because, obviously, it's on contaminated soil and that. Contaminated dirt. But, God, oh, that is... I knew there was a coal operation up here, but God! You should see something like that in Australia or something, but... <laughs> no wonder why this area is so expensive to buy. So I'm guessing if we purchase this area for how much? 1.2 mil. So for 10 times our money, we can purchase all this. But no, that ain't going to be happening any time soon, so I need to find our off-roading buggy thing. Where did I leave that to? There it is, sir. So yeah, what I'm going to do now is get in touch with the authority. Have a little quick look around, see if there's any more wood than that. Because yes, we can sell the wood. Not sure of how much. So, wood chips. Uh, they're actually decently priced. So yeah, we head to Miller's Sawmill. But yeah, so let me get in touch with the authority. I'm going to keep on some brown either at Miller's Sawmill or at the mine. Because yeah, if there's more gold at the mine somewhere, then yeah, I can definitely do some more gold than that. Even if you get a small cut now, because at the end of the day, we need the money. So right, I have informed the authority and 
yeah, we'll they'll they'll get back to us on if we get any fees in that in terms of like anything of a reward in that for discovery. But yeah, so I'm gonna collect a couple more. Sorry to affect the steering, so I thought it was best if we just go now and sell this. So here we're at Miller Sawmill. There we go. Thank you very much. So yeah, I need to find where in the hell is this damn trigger to? And yeah, so I think the problem is there's so much weight on the back now is sort of lifting the front wheels up, so we're losing traction and we're turning. So I'm guessing it's somewhere around here. So right, I'm guessing somewhere here maybe, so have a little look. So right, for all of that, we've got 900 bucks from that, so was it worth it? Well, if we look at what we've got, so how much was this to lease? So yeah, Bell Trader and that. Not sure what exact configurations, but yeah, so I'm guessing we're profitable at the moment, but also we did find the gold as well, so let's not forget about that. So yeah, I'm gonna head over to the uh, what's it mine now and have a look up there. So yeah, I'm just gonna have a look at the ground. And I'll see you folks in a short while. There we go, we're proper rambling now, we're in bear country. Oh, that's a little divot there. See, I'll keep GPS up, so... Yeah, we're approaching the mine. Maybe not the most efficient of ways, but... Yeah, I'm told to follow this vague track here, so... Yeah, it is extremely bumpy, and... Yeah, whilst I'm trying not to get myself killed, I'm looking out for bears, and also I'm looking out for where I'm going. So yeah, let's have a look. See, there's a Cavantish point. In terms of finding any bloody gold. I guarantee you, if we've been bamboozled and basically be given us her bull crap, then someone's gonna be out of a few words, babe, because we're paying a lot of money for this, a couple hundred bucks. And yeah, in terms of fuel, at the moment we're good. Bull's getting proper bumpy now. I have got careful because I think I'm hearing the faint sirens of the mine. See, they're still up and active. Lovely jubbly. Oops, whoa. Yes, he's trying to navigate this. Maybe the small quad would be better than that. You know, a bit more nimble and agile. Come on, wheel it up. So, we can see down here, I think. So yeah, that's the path down here. Is it? Stop in it, please. Because I don't know if we get it stuck. I don't know what how much it's going to cost to get it recovered. If it can be recovered, so... Oh! Should have had a cage there. We always sat our neck. But yeah, you know what? Let's park up here for now. And yeah. Let's have a look of the mine in that. Ah, God, is that beautiful. I mean, yeah, it's beautiful, you know. They say beauty lies in the beholder in that. And that's certainly the same with this, so... It's nice in that. But no gold barrel barrels I can see. So yeah, again... I'm going to keep on looking, and yeah, we'll see each other when, or if I find anything. I'll give it another half an hour, an hour or so, rambling on, 
turns it rams in through the woodlands. Is it Ramblin? Well, at least in the UK we call it Ramblin. Not sure here in the States, but off off roading. So yeah, I'm going to continue on with this with the mine and our stuff in the way. And yeah, we'll see if we get any results. So all right, I think I'm close. I think I, was, I, think I saw something glinting from up here now with our binoculars and yeah I was trying to look for it now like yeah I was just going around in off road in that sort of looking through my binoculars and that yeah and I thought, think I saw somewhere something down here like around here I think I'm just trying to be careful like not to slide down in and end up breaking an ankle because, unlike in the UK, we need to buy health insurance, so... As you at the moment, I've got no health insurance. Ah, there it is! Let's find a safe way down. Let's not dive into the pile of gold, because... Yeah, diving in gold may be funny in cartoons. In real life, not so much, so... There we go. Found our golden barrel. So let's see how much that's going to be. Ooh, interesting. That is 50 grand. So that is 75 grand we've found thus far. So there we go. That is 75 grand we find, and there's got to be more somewhere, but. Yeah, like, honestly, I don't know, so... Climbing back up here, look at the little mountain goat. Oh, Rice, I'll see you back in the town around dinner time. Dinner, lunch, whatever, noon. Yeah, lunch time, because brunch and that, right? Or at least something like that, but... Anyways.
And there we go. And I'll say that was a productive morning. We just had a bit of lunch, had a bit of pizza, had a, some cake as well. But yeah, so we've done a favour for the authority. Because yeah, we found some of those golden barrels, those pots of gold. And I think I find most of them besides from two. But, but yeah, I think I've heard about the other two that are quite difficult to get to. And requires excavation, like actually digging the ground in that. So what I may do is try to speak to the authority about it, saying there's apparently bits of gold on their property and can get an excavator and excavate the land. Or more likely a wheel owner than that. Into perhaps reality's sake, but but yeah, overall, that was about 720 grand, all gone to the 40s bank account. Because obviously it was all on their land, either directly or indirectly, so... Yeah, I may have annoyed some neighbours, a bit of B&E, breaking and entering, but... I was only that one house I had a little door in that, so I couldn't get into, but... Apart from that, overall, it was actually pretty good. Ooh. Bit of bounce. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. I think mean, this thing is a proper beast, and, and yeah, we'll wait for another month or so before we hear back from the authority on that. But, anyways, we now need to do some secondary hunting, and yeah, this is what I've been tasked with in terms of. Clearing these trees, like, see, there's dirt in that, has been kicked up over time, guessing it's been burned through that. Because, yeah, this looks very man-made, like, once upon a time this used to be an entire cliff face, but then it's been excavated and there's still some veins of coal in that, so... I guess it wasn't enough to just find the big massive mining equipment. Plus, well, perhaps too close to all the other local residencies and that in terms of the other operations going on, not so much residential but commercial and industrial purposes, but yeah, it's like these trees here can be cut down. So yeah, I think what we could do potentially is next time Go and borrow a trader. Actually, we've still got the lorry for the time being. Why not use that? So, I'm thinking, because I don't know if we've got a front loader on that, uh, what's it, the case, but no, it won't be there. It'll be under forestry. What about a logging trader? Eh, why not? So, Ooh, 42 grand, not 42 grand, 2,300 to these. Then a grand every hour. Again, we can go with something really small and that. Does it have options to attach on the back? It does, and yeah, I'm thinking more something like this, because I think my plan's going to be I do think it's going to be worth getting a tree harvester out. Especially where we don't know how much money we're going to get for that gold in that we found. But, yeah, we are we have been given permission, so we can cut these ones down. So, I'll just do a test. Can I cut this one down? So, yeah, like, all these trees are going to be very much liftable. Just do a bit of feathering. That's still got some leaves on it, but they're dead, so we can get rid of those. Pretty much, if the leaves and branches are dead, chop them down. Sorry, that's a bit more of a heavier chunk. Is that liftable? Yep. See, so yeah, my thinking is get a little salt pile going. And then from here, we'll take it over to Sawmill. And yeah, they can either use this for, I guess it'll be 
like pad production, any planks and that they were hurt at the end of the day. Oh, I don't care, I don't give a damn. As long as we get paid our fair share for this woods, overall I'm not fussed, so yeah, I think on that note, that's where we're gonna leave it today. So next time we've got a bit of forestry to do, by the looks of it. Uh we're pending the results of how much money we can get for all that gold we find. Obviously it's 720 grand, so could be 72 grand, a 10% cut. Could be more, could be less. Honestly, I don't know. Uh, yeah, in terms of these logs and that, so yeah, I've got these, all these here. I'm actually seeing that there are a fair amount of trees, so actually I may go with the bigger trader in the end. A bit more expensive, yeah, sure. But at least then we're gonna have to do multiple little trips. We can just do one big trip. Perhaps actually what we can do is get a rattle can. Then yeah, rattle can start marking these down so we know which ones we can cut down which ones we cannot so yeah I'm thinking yeah these ones are fine the moment we start seeing any bits of foliage that is no like that one uh, looks decent that but yeah that looks a lot healthier so I'm thinking yeah cut this one down cut all these down but man, like, you would have thought they would have cleared this already. Obviously I get not chopping down those trees to retain the sand barrier. Because trees are very good at sand dampening, believe it or not. But yeah, so just these excess dead trees and that, so... Admittedly, they do not look good at all, so... To pass, I don't blame them for wanting them chopped down, so... But anyway, so we'll return this get the lorry nap next time and then go from there but anyways that's where I'm going to leave it today and as always hope you enjoyed the episode if so smash the like button feel free to down below if you want to share as a please be my guest if you're not subscribed to yet then please consider but for you to do hope you're going to stay but for now this is me from Evo Extreme and I'll see you all very soon.